Disney with Show Me Cute. I have three new activities for you today that I am really excited to show you. They are all heart and arrow inspired and there's so much to show. I just have to stop talking and let's get going. Okay, to get started on this first project, you need some craft paint in black and gold as well as some gold glitter, black scrapbook paper, heart doilies, feathers in black and white or multicolor if you like those. You need some tape, some ribbon, and glitter felt, some dowel sticks, some scissors, a paintbrush, and the only thing I didn't get in this picture was a hot glue gun. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is take some tape and wrap it around in the middle of your stick. I wanted to make stripes on my arrow, so that's why I'm using this taping method. I paint part of the stick black and the other part gold and then roll in glitter so it's extra sparkly. Next, you're gonna make a heart pattern. Just fold a piece of paper in half and draw a big heart. And you're gonna need one big out of the black and then two smaller out of the gold glitter paper. And then you're gonna draw like an elongated leaf shape to make a glitter feather. And then simply cut that out and then cut a whole bunch of little lines along your leaf shape and you will have a feather. Now we get to the fun part where we get to assemble our arrow. I'm gonna start by doing the tip of the arrow and I'm gonna take one of my glitter hearts and glue it on with my hot glue gun and then I'm gonna take the other glitter heart and cover that on the back side so we have a double-sided glitter heart tip. Next, you're gonna take your feathers and just kind of arrange them however you like. I put some on the back and some on the front. If you need to trim up the feathers a little bit, that works too. Just take your hot glue gun and be careful with your fingers and just place them on until you're happy with the way it looks. Next you're going to take your ribbon. I used this cute polka dot ribbon to cover up where I glued everything onto the arrow and I just took a piece of glue, wrapped it around, and glued and secured the end as well. And then last I took one more piece of small ribbon and I glued that on where we had our tape. If you're going to use your arrow as a valentine, this is where you need the other hearts. I have one large black heart and a smaller white doily and one little glitter heart. You can also put a message on there. I used my metallic sharpie in the same gold, glued those all together, and now I'm just going to glue that right to my arrow. Okay, for our next project, you need some felt. I have some regular and some glitter to choose from. You need bobby pins, some scissors, a glue gun, and some glue. First, you just need to cut out the shapes, the three shapes that you need for your bobby pin, which is gonna be a heart, a tip, and the feather part of your arrow. Um, if you guys don't feel comfortable drawing your own patterns, I will put those up on the blog and you can just print those out. Then you're just gonna trace them on the back of your paper or your felt and just cut those out.
Once you cut out your heart and your arrow, it's time to plug in your glue gun, grab your bobby pins, and glue them together. Okay, the last thing I wanted to share with you guys is some accessories because every cute Valentine outfit needs accessories. I found a whole bunch of adorable things for really reasonable prices, reasonable prices at Forever 21 this week. And then I also found at some of my local hobby stores in the jewelry section, really cute charms that I just added to a necklace or added to a pair of earrings, which they sell in the jewelry section as well. So for pictures and detailed photos on all of the accessories that I found, go to showmecute.blogspot.com to see the cute pictures. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I will see you guys next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.